Now that we have our measurements set up and the CalCheck done, we need to set up for the test. We are using the ADP081A for this type of measurement. Attach the adapter to the sensor with a set screw. Now insert the HVM200 into the armband so that the connector is on the bottom. Connect the sensor to the HVM200. Now attach the armband to the person being monitored. You can start the measurement using the power button or connect using the control app. We run the meter for two minutes. What we are essentially doing is evaluating risk for excessive vibration. Is it harmful? How long can a worker use this tool in a workday? We need two pieces of information, the frequency weighted magnitude or level of vibration and the length of time the person is exposed to it. This number is called the A8 value. It is given in a meters per second squared sum. The good practice for hand arm measurement suggests to set the exposure limit to five meters per second squared, which means the most allowed amount for exposure in a working day, and the exposure action to 2.5 meters per second squared. This means that if the value is reached, then action should be taken, like wearing special vibration dampening gloves, frequent breaks in operation, or servicing the tool in case there is an imbalance. So let's see how we did. We took two minutes of data since my goal was to get the level, not the length of time. That was calculated by discussing a worker's average day. We were told that the time on the compactor is around two hours per working day. So the ARMS level is 10.9631 meters per second squared. That is very high, but expected for this type of machine. To calculate when action needs to be taken or when they've reached the limit, this equation is used where AHV is the frequency weighted magnitude, T is the time the worker uses the machine in a workday, and T0 is the workday, typically eight hours. I rounded my level to 11. We were told the worker spends about two hours on the compactor and the average shift is eight hours. This means that the A8 is 5.5 meters per second squared, which means that two hours is way too long to be operating the machine. We blew past the action level and exceeded the limit. If the worker spends an hour and 35 minutes on the machine, we come in just shy of the limit. This is the most anyone should be operating the compactor in a working day. If you look on the measurement data file, this number is calculated for you under A8 exposure. The exposure is reached in 1.6 hours of total operating time. The number above the A8 action is the time before action should be taken, and that's about 25 minutes. So no one worker should operate the compactor for more than 25 minutes in a workday without precautions. Now there are some things that you can know without taking measurements at all. If the tool causes numbness or a tingling feeling, then you know there is serious risk involved and you need to stop and take action immediately. To learn more about this and other features for the HVM200, refer to the manual or visit us online at larsendavis.com.